Andrew, you're up by as many as 12 in the first half. They really made you work for it in the second half. How'd you eventually pull away? Um, they're really a consistent team, honestly. Uh, they don't turn the ball over. They run the sets, kind of slow down the game. But I think at some point, we just kept on pushing the pace and stuck with it and, and got a pretty, pretty big lead. No B.I., no Zion, and yet it's next man up. What can you say about this team's mentality and depth? Man, it's always been like that. Uh, we've been through some struggles this year, and that's kind of where we found ourselves and our identity. And uh, just to be able to step up when, when two of our major guys go out, uh, it's a big win. Well, I know where the toughness comes from. Look no further than that Band-Aid over the eye. Walk me through that injury and how you're feeling. Uh, I hate getting stitches. I, I, my, my first set of stitches were here. We're in this gym, so hopefully this is my last. Well, this is what happens when the Holiday Brothers take the floor. I guess, man. We're always fighting, right? <laughs> brothers always fight. What was it like uh, sharing an NBA floor again with them and with, like, 50 people in the stands, friends and family watching? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, honestly, I'm glad I got the win, first and foremost. Uh, but it's just a blessing, uh, for, for real. I, I don't know any other brothers that get to be out here and play together and, and fight with each other or even just be on the same team like that, which I'm jealous of sometimes. But uh, I tell them all the time we got a better team. So uh, we won in both places, and, and I guess I got the bragging rights. I was going to say, season bragging rights. So congrats on that. Thank you. Thank Your you. holiday thanks, Joel.